Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of this round of 32 clash game 2 Frankie129 versus Slade Black Mage, Undead versus Humans Frankie won the first game, 2-1 Frankie is the winner of his group and uh, Slade was actually technically the third place and then Gabias couldn't make the playoffs um, Frankie Spanish qualified from NBB and Slade Black Mage is American and qualified through TRBBL um, it's quite a strange build for Slade Black Mage he's got five re-rolls um, which is a lot <laughs> it's a lot but I mean it's, it's I think it's I think it's decent I think it's a decent uh, build I don't hate the build at all but five re-rolls sure is a lot and uh, Frankie is a bit more Standard build, right? Wrestle, a couple of tackle, a couple of blocks, tackle, a couple of guard on the mummies. So, uh, but normally you'd put the skill on the white, right? Like a guard white, but I, honestly, I don't hate the guard mummies because they're strong and they do things. Good evening, Bombadil. So, yeah, so we've already seen these, but actually both of these guys scored early on their drive, pushing for the win. Uh, well, I say it early. <laughs> Slade scored on turn six, <laughs> but um, they both tried to score early, looking for the win. So it'll be interesting to see how they both play this game as well. Oh, I must tell you, the reason this is red and blue mode is not because there's a color clash. It's just they've both got the default color kits, and honestly, shame on them. Shame on them for not painting their team. Unpainted team, so I think it's worth making it red and blue. They've lo they've lost the right to have their desired colours on there. a thing that happened. <laughs> yes, there's not much to say about it, is he? That was a very lame turn one for Frankie. Which does give Slade the chance to maybe do something. Oh yeah, use the speed of humans. And that to be fair, this speed has got him a two dice block against a ghoul here. There are four ghouls for Frankie, not uh Nothing unstandard there. Wow, he's putting three people on a mummy and that is dangerous because it's pretty easy to two dice him if you've got three people on him. with a gal which just free this zombie I'm not sure that was worth it probably been, would have been better just to get more hits right and he doesn't get to hit the ogre oh, that was probably worth uphilling with a zombie right to for the push so that then it's not great odds but if you get it then at least you can hit the ogre it's better than just getting your ogre hit Egg your mummy hit, right, which is what's happening now. One mummy's knocked over, second mummy is uh, about to get punched. Also, you could just foul this. Uh, mm, fouling before the hit. Oh no, he goes stupid. I think he tried to re roll that. Hard to tell, but uh, I like going for the foul again. You know, like if you can if you can foul out a mummy, that's uh, a great thing to do. And actually, Frankie's got a tackle hit on this catcher now, if he wants, which he surely does. 
Could have made it three dice, but didn't. This isn't a super safe ball, is it? Yeah, in fact, he's going to dodge rather than punch. Just about, just about safe enough. You can bring these guys back now to punch the tackler. And then punch the mummy. And then punch the mummy. Oh. No. Oh, do you know what? He probably did the same as me. I thought... Two assists, you can punch it, but of course there's guards, so it would just be a 1D. Probably miscounted the guard there. Taking that ball down, I don't know. I mean, he did have five rerolls, he's down to two in <laughs> three turns. So, to be fair, maybe, maybe he could reroll that. Instant one in nine. Mummy continues to do absolutely nothing, just punching things or pushing things around. He's not really getting anywhere here, is he, Frankie? Are all. So yeah, maybe a bit of frustration to try and get down the side. Turn four panic. That looks a little bit dodgy, doesn't it? Nice dodge. Yeah, I, like, I quite like this. It's a little bit greedy, right? Because you could just blitz with block and then uh, get that 2D, but I think it's better to do that and then get this, yeah. The 2D on the tackler. This is pretty good. Pretty good for Slade. Not basing him. And the ogre goes stupid. That is a horrendous stupid. I'm not sure he should have got him out as well. Because that might be enough. To switch back around this way, right, with chains and stuff, maybe Frankie can make a side switch, but he's not going to try. He's just going to blitz this catcher. And push with a mummy again. Mummy absolutely f refuses to do anything except push. Decent stun. It's quite a nice spot there, isn't it? And I mean, I don't mean from not getting sacked. I didn't look at that. Just like the kind of edge of like just inside the, the uh, wide zone line. Because it gives you a big move back there. But also you can just go straight back down the side if you want. Big removal. This is looking pretty good for Slade. Because it's Christmas soon, isn't it? Way. Okay, it re 
recovering the ogre was pretty important. You could have maybe just uh, activated it and not punched, but I mean, you got to punch, haven't you? Turn six. This is a bit dodgy. Well, I say that. We've got a pretty strong potato with a few punches. Yeah, there's a gaping hole, and in fact, just one punch, wasn't it? It was just literally one punch, okay. So, yeah, I guess Slade had to cover this somehow because he didn't even need a blitz to get through. Okay, I mean, how was there in this much space? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unforgivable, really, to allow that that much, wasn't it? It was just like it was free, it was just one hit. I mean, you can one day, the problem with one day isn't even good, right? I guess he is going for the one day. But the problem is it's just it's just It's just not gonna work, is it? He didn't even re-roll it. I guess with the two guards, this isn't super easy. Okay, I mean you rolled a fair amount of dice that turn. I wonder if he needed to 1D the uh, mummy so that this guard could have like come in here, that would have been pretty nice. <laughs> Cheeky cars. Blitzing for a pow seems wrong. Now he's dodging. Oh my goodness. Makes the dodge. And makes a 2D. Well, this is uh, somewhat of an easy 2D on the ball, isn't it? Okay, well, instant reroll gone. Instant last reroll gone. Diced. And then fails. One in nine. Classic human play. Absolute classic human play. Instant one in nine fail. Uh, after one in 36. And there you go. Um, Frankie gets his score. Oh, now there is the ogre and the halfling, so we could see a one-turn touchdown, just like uh, Jay Lee, or maybe chaining the uh, catcher. I think, I think the halfling toss is more likely. Fling magic. <laughs> oh, timeout. Don't be mean, help. I'm doing my best here. Wait, where's the catcher? Oh, there, it's already gone. It's already gone. That's why I can't see it. Well, timeout is very interesting. You could say super interesting. I haven't got any blitzers up with him. Another cars. Oh, he could blitz the old, he's gonna blitz the mummy, isn't it? No, 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 because he might throw the half wing. Yeah. 
<laughs> then rushes him round the front. Oh man, halfling in hand, ogre ready to throw him. <laughs> God, I can't see. <laughs> Who's going to make a back line for the toss? That's not too terrible, I guess, just making the back line for the toss. Well, not actually a back line, but something resembling a back line. Back line adjacent. <laughs> Um, for the halfling toss, there are various setups, and it depends which is better. I know it's lame, but he's just going to hand it off to the catcher because he hasn't he hasn't backlined. <laughs> no. I just score from the three. Thanks very much. There we go. Keeps this set up. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> okay, I'll I'll just score then. <laughs> oh dear. Oh wow. This is some heavy basing. Wow, I, I, <laughs> he's practicing the face to fist technique, isn't he here, um, Slave Black Mage? This is, I mean, you're just getting punched, like literally, he's got guard. You're just giving him 2D punches with, with block or wrestle. And then he won in nine. <laughs> I mean, it's most definitely not what I would do, but on the other hand, he hasn't been punished for it at all. Okay, well, just a stun. Die though, but yeah, a bit of a punishment. A bit of a punishment, I guess. Ogre. Boneheads. Re rolls it. Rolls a pow. Doesn't kill him. Dice. Dice blitz, casual, full pow. Why wouldn't it be? Removal as well. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> oh god. Um Well This mummy can he can he get chained out? Not really. Okay, he dodges with him. Double rush, one dice. 
Rerolls the rush, gets the one dice pal. And now he's got tackle on the catcher as well. Slade just needs to win. Um, the scores don't matter. It just matters that Frankie won the first game. Oh my god, more rushes. Gets it. Not sure that was worth making any rushes there. But... Rushing to get punched. Straight in a chun's column. Maximum risk. Let's go. Hello, Santa from Exeter. Removal. Ogre down. And uh, somehow we've got a chance of a hit on the ball here. He does make the dodge, does make the rush. Dub skulls, out of re-rolls, only gets the push. But I, I honestly, I hated his rushes that he did with that, uh, that white. Yeah, I think you're doing better off not rushing. So he could have still had a, could have still had a re-roll, but uh, now out of re-rolls and Slade has four. So. This is kind of working out for Slade right now. Oh my god, he's dub skulled. And gets a pow. He's down a guard blitzer though. Has to win this game, does Slade Black Mage. But it is 1 1 thanks to the uh, timeout. Looks pretty good if he, even, even if he gets the push. Never mind the knockdown. Looks like he can get a score from here, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Not sure about that reroll either, but Oh wow, all the dice to get the 1D. Double rushes and a full power. Flip me. Wow. Well, I mean that he's got them to use them, hasn't he? Like that's the thing. Like he's got them to use them. So it does suit his style. And said classic now. <laughs> Not surfing this ghoul. Didn't want to risk the scatter. I think I would have risked the scatter, honestly. Surfing a ghoul's pretty good. Oh, gotta re-roll this. Fails the pickup. And uh, he gets instantly... Oh, not instantly served. He's too slow. Oh, no, he's got this guy. Instantly served. Oh, not instantly served, because he'd have to dodge. So, yeah, he's just got a, he's got a two plus surf. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, he doesn't have to surf. Oh, my God, I'm an idiot. I thought this wouldn't work for some reason. Yeah, you've got to make it two D. With no rerolls. You probably had to anyway.
Probably shouldn't have stood this guy up, right? See where, see what happened. Oh, dodges out there. Sneaky, a sneaky little ghoul. Oh wow, four plus. Does burn. Didn't burn dodge. So we did the second one. Doesn't try for anything with this. Meanwhile, Slay Black Mage, first action. Let's go. Lob it. And he caught... <laughs> he caught... <laughs> he caught it on this guy. <laughs> and he blocked... Well, I guess he blocked his path, whatever happened. Oh my goodness. Foul him, get him out of the way, but no, no, he's blitz, he's got the blitz still, wow. 1D blitz, pow him. And no turnover, no, because it was caught by a, caught by a player on the receiving team, amazing. Amazing stuff from Slay Black Mage. <sighs> what a game, the perfect stall, perfect 8 turn stall. He's got like a goo one day. That's all, isn't it? Beautiful. The beautiful chorus. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's the right. Do them one at a time. If you pop dodge, um, you rush. And if you don't pop dodge, you cut the second corner and then roll the one on your rush. Okay, it's not a perfect eight turn stall, it was a perfect seven turn stall. Slay Black Mage bangs it in. Probably gonna get this to game three. Because Undead aren't the best at two turn touchdowns without re rolls. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point, Calcium. <laughs> PS4 dominance. Yeah. Oh, cheering fans. Oh, nobody gets it. Oh, no, no. It's not cheering fans isn't the rerolls, is it? Cheering fans is the uh, price of Nuffle and nobody got one. <laughs> Makes the pickup. Makes the handoff. Okay, well he might get the two turn. Just instant full potato. It is on blodge. He does no wrestle and he has no tackle. Dodge. Doesn't power him. No rerolls left. It was a glorious potato. He's off. Yeah, pretty good. Needs one more. This is really strong, isn't it? This is really strong. Oh, I say really strong. He three dice him. Oh, he doesn't even need three dice him. Yeah, he blitz him with wrestle. Gets the pow. So this is a, what, a 4 3. No reroll, though. Oh, he fails the jump and casses himself. <laughs> <laughs> he fails the jump and casts himself. Um, there you go. Well done. Well done, Goo. Um, so, I mean, congratulations, Slate Black Mage. Um, wins 2-1, ties up the series 1-1. They will play 
a third game decider with overtime enabled to see tiebreaker to see who wins their match so there you go thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic